Hello and welcome to Grand Arena Round 1. Today I am against Snort Pepper. They have Jabba, SLKR, Grand Inquisitor, a whole bunch of lit relics, 6.8 million. Yeah, look at all these relics. Absolutely everywhere. Again, yeah, I had to record this while I was at work, so uh, no base cam, unfortunately, and uh, the audio is coming post-recording. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what we could do against this guy. He's got his job on defense. He's got some pretty stacked Night Sisters there as well. So let's see what we can do against the Java. Here I'm debating on whether I use Vader or Hondo. This is the only Datacron that seems to work. So we'll throw that on. Oh no, actually we don't because it says something about reviving tanks that I don't have a tank. So we don't even apply that. Initiate with doubt. Add the support. Burn him. Well, that did some pretty good damage. Burn him again. No, oh, not quite any kills. Okay. Armor shreds with health. Now I'm gonna wait for my AoE. Because the AoE is gonna kill people, so I might as well kill them with basics. So, utilize that. Auto him, and then. Dead Chrysanthemum. Not sure how Chrysanthemum revived, but let's take him out. Man, he's awfully tanky. Still, we'll take him out, and then we'll take him out. Won't be that bad. I've barely received any damage from any. From any so I should be fine. And he's gone. Perfect. Now? Ooh, that would that did a lot of damage. Not quite enough, but the next Dalek attack. Get the kill. Not quite, again. There we go. Relatively easy. 73 on a Jabba attack? That's impressive. That was impressive. I feel like I won this round right now. I was just a little bit mind blown. I'm like, wow, that was a really easy Jabba fight. What's next? I don't remember who I want to, who I used to uh, take out this team. Ah, uh, do I go with the Jedi? Ah, uh, yeah, Qui Gon Jinn, oh, oh my God. And then I guess I debated on whether I use a full team for it, or I just use Anakin, or I use the spare Jedi, like. I was kind of tempted on using all these, like, leftover Jedi, so that I didn't ruin the Padme team if I had to use her. But it seems that I really don't need to use the Padme team too much anyway, and odds are I probably wouldn't use her at this level, so I just throw in my Jedi Knight Anakin and jump into battle, see what happens. Go for an assist. 
Kara Dune is honestly the probably the biggest threat here. I'm glad that Anakin's not disabled. Boom, Qui-Gon's gone. I'm not sure why I didn't get my reset. That was weird. Didn't matter too much, but still really weird. Anakin didn't get his turn. And an easy battle. Kinda glad I used my leftovers, but uh, I might have needed that Anakin. Anyway, see in the back line we, they have Geos. I'm thinking, damn it, I already used Darth Vader. And then I'm looking at all these Omicron and I'm thinking, hmm, these might be a little more challenging than I initially think, thought. So, oh, I choose the 501st against the Night Sisters because Night Sisters can't revive against 501st, the gas team. Always has that immediate, once you die, you're permanently dead. But that didn't uh, didn't work against zombie, or it won't work against zombie here in a second. Trying to figure out who I want to focus on. Marin has the Omicron, so that makes me nervous. So I was gonna get rid of that first. Mm -hmm. And then we're stuck behind the zombie tunnel. Not realize that we didn't have to go after her after one turn. Who is it that has this spell? Is it Echo? Barely stacking, so I'm not too too worried about it yet. I think I kill zombie here, and then I realize, oh well, this is coming back, so time to kill the other night system. I got confused because I'm pretty sure that there's that once they die, they're dead type of thing from the Anakin, but. Got impatient, threw it on that, threw it on auto, and killed him. Use Rex's, Rex's special to get the extra kill, and I think we do that against the back as well. I think we can see that little circle that keeps poking towards Zaka. <laughs> yep, that's me trying to be like, focus this guy, focus her. I get nervous here for a minute because I'm like, oh, I need Anakin to sit down. But Anakin gets back up before anyone takes out the Arc Trooper. Also, my Rex is super fragile, so we could have killed that. Overall, relatively clean battle. Next, Star Killer to take out the Rogue One team. Not too bad. What? Oh wow, I threw, I threw CLS in here. Thinking, uh, I'm not gonna need the CLS team. I believe this is. Yeah, all I have is uh, the Geos left, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using. Uh, Sith for that.
I was struggling to remember if I need to have a Radis first or if I need to kill Jin Urso first. Jin Urso can't die while Radis is still alive. And you gotta get, take out uh, take out Radis before he gets 100 stacks or he revives everybody and does a bunch of damage to you. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. K2SO will sit there and tank, but I'm going to pull it out of the sky. That did a lot less than I thought it was going to do. But I'm unleashed now, right? So I should do super power damage. Disable them. See. Jin so has been in red for a little while now, but hasn't died, so... That's how I figured it out. I was like, ah, I have to kill Radis. K2 was being annoying, so we had to kill And then, with this easy boop, he's dead. And he's dead. Beautiful. Another beautiful round! Got another five minutes to go, so I got geos and fleet battles, and then we'll see how the results went. Obviously, gonna use my Sith team. I was debating on just using the two of them, which actually might have worked out to give me the win. May have. See the point difference. Pretty easy getting through those geos. That wasn't too bad. And then I still need to get through the fleets. We all know how fleet are for me, so I just want to get through this as quickly as possible. Use my most powerful team. Kind of thinking I should probably focus on some fleets, uh, some ships at least, for a little bit. Because I've been stolen that Marauder forever. The punishing one just came out for the Executor, and I heard that that boosted the Executor shit as well. Um, yeah, so I, I I don't have the ideal fleets, but so far I'm doing well. Um, I used his secondary ability, or sorry, I used Vibe's secondary ability, the Embarrassed Fighter. By accident, thinking I had the target lock earlier. I didn't have the tar target lock, it was a uh, denial of electricity. Uh, um, so it was a misclick. Slightly poor, slightly played, uh, but I didn't have to pay for it with my life. Fortunately, never part of it. After the end of the round, we will see the results, and we'll see if I get punished or not. I didn't see the purpose of bringing in another ally, so I just... slammed them with bases. Ahsoka almost died there, that probably would have cost me some, uh, some panic for sure. I just didn't think I had to do some panic for sure again. People that, uh... People at this highest level of GP don't often uh, participate when they're this low in the rankings. I uh, I learned the hard way that that ain't necessarily the truth anymore. I think that this is Kyber Crush. 
Kyber Crunch. But we'll see that reason why in a minute here. I got demoted. I lost by like 10 points, not even, 8 points, and I got demoted. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. God bless.